Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment five for the course introduction to short computing. In this assignment, question number four, seven, and ten are tricky questions, and we have to take care. Question one: When the value of spread factor alpha in a simulated binary crossover is equal to one, it is called it is called stationary crossover. It is called stationary crossover. It is uh, actually the value of alpha could be less than one, greater than one, and equal to one. So there are three cases. When is it is equal to one, then it is the case of stationary crossover. And this is the validation. Alpha less than one, then it is contractic. Crossover. When alpha greater than one, it is expanding crossover. But when alpha equal to one, it is known as the stationary crossover. So correct answer is this one. Question number two. Suppose the gene value of a chromosome is represented as this one. So what will be the mutated chromosome sequence when the reverse mutation? When the reverse mutation is applied actually there are various type of mutation reverse mutation flipping mutations and polynomial mutation random mutation so this is the case of reverse mutation in a reverse mutation actually how it's work like this is the crossover point this one so 1000 so 1000 0 and after that crossover point 0 uh, will be reversed to 1 this bit will be reversed to 1 so therefore it becomes 1 and after that 1 0 1 0 so this will be the correct answer so final answer is 1 0 0 1 0 so option a is correct one option 1 is a is correct one 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 and this is the validation as depicted in the ppt 01100 and this is the crossover point so after that what we have to do this 0 will be reversed or flipped into 1 so 0 becomes 1 and after that the gene will be same 1 will be 1 so this is the validation for question number 2 and definitely it will be 100% accurate in which mutation operation perturbation factor is used actually in random mutation and in polynomial mutation the, this term is used but in random mutation delta uh, this delta is used which is known as the perturbation but in polynomial distribution uh, this delta is known as the perturbation factor so the correct answer is in polynomial mutation uh, perturbation factor is used so correct answer is option c and the validation is this one uh, mutation in real coded ga that is polynomial mutation and in polynomial mutation uh, this perturbation factor is used so question number 4 what is the responsibility of mutation in genetic algorithm so option a to select the best individual no it is not correct to produce a large number of child chromosome note it is also not correct to increase genetic diversity definitely when we are going for mutation then from one population to next population uh, we are going to change the characteristics of uh, new population uh, with respect to the last population so we want uh, more diversity and to increase the convergence no it is not correct so only option c is the correct one option c for validation in genetic algorithm the mutation is a genetic operation used to maintain genetic diversity genetic diversity from one generation of population to the next generation so uh, di diversity is more important with respect to production of the population question 5 the edge table used in edge recombination ordered crossovers scheme provides ordered information no it is actually not in order connectivity information yes it is the correct answer both ordered and connectivity because ordered is not mandatory that's why this option is also wrong and none of the above so the correct answer is connectivity information so option b is the correct one and uh, this is the validation in crossover 
technique used to solve TSP problem when the cities are not completely connected to each other right in this technique edge table which contained the urgency information but not in order so not in order but as table provide connectivity information so connectivity is more important and order is not important so order is not important this is the validation for question number five question number six so in question six Jed Nadir is upper bound with respect to Pareto optimal front. So correct option is this one. And that is option A. And the validation for question 6. Jed Nadir is the Jed Nadir is the upper bound. Is the upper bound with respect to Pareto optimal solution right and uh, you also can represent uh, depicted in the, with the help of this explanation that neither objective vector defined as Z nadir represent the upper bound of each objective in the entire Pareto optimal set so this is the validation for question number six question number seven is very very tricky question and uh, we have to consider all the statement and after that uh, final evaluation will be calculated so which of the following is not the reason behind increased complexity while solving a multi objective optimization problem that is MOOP when compared to single objective optimization problem so uh, normally we are use uh, single objective optimization problem but if uh, there are multiple objectives then what we have to do then we have to use uh, MOOP that is multi objective optimization problem so when we are going to use MOOP then definitely complexity will be increased and it uh, can be increased up to uh, number of times uh, with uh, as per the requirement of the how many objective functions are there so the first option the question is which of the following is not the region is not the region behind so first option optimization each of the objective does not necessarily give the global optimum solution it is correct statement sometimes moves are provided with conflictive objective it is also correct a possible candidate solution may be best one for the objective function but perform worst for the other objective function that are present in the given loop and none of the above so the correct answer will be D that is none of the above actually these three regions actually these three option a b c are the uh, actually region for the move these are the actual region for the move but we are go, uh, asking which of the following is not a region actually these are the regions but we are uh, we have to answer which are uh, which of the following is not a region okay so actually these are the reason definitely uh, answer will be none of the above and for its validation I, I will going to read all the uh, slide which are given to us why a why solving a MOOP is an issue so when we are going to this optimizing each objective individually not necessarily give the optimal solution so this is the reason for the MOOP and another option also sometimes move are with conflicting objectives okay this is option B in a particular search point one may be the best solution for a particular uh, objective uh, whereas other may be the worst for other objective so all these are the actual reasons and definitely none of the above is the correct answer a solution x i is said to be dominate other solution x j if so correct answer is option b x i is no worse than x j in all objectives and x i is strictly better than x j in one objective so this one is the correct answer this one is the correct answer option b and the validation for question 8 is right concept of domination a solution x i is said to dominate to other solution x j if both condition 1 and 2 are true so what is the condition 1 the solution x i is 
no worse than xj in all objectives right and condition 2 xi is strictly better than xj at least in one objective that's why option b is the correct one question number 9 the number of objectives function present in multi objective optimization problem is so in a single objective optimization problem there is only one objective function uh, so equal to 1 is wrong because we are dealing with the um, move problem less than or equal to 2 less than equal to 2 this is also wrong greater than or equal to 2 this is the correct one actually uh, that is m m must be greater than equal to 2 equal to 2 otherwise it will be considered as single objective optimization problem must be more than 3 it is not mandatory it may be 2 but must be greater than equal to 2 so correct answer is c and this is the validation that for a multi objective optimization problem m should be greater than equal to Question number 10, this is very important and validation is also very important. Two parent chromosome in ordered GA encoding scheme are given as. Actually, this is different from, uh, from the simple um, binary crossover techniques. A, a K point is selected at position 4. So, this is the position. So, this one is the position. Okay. And... Uh, to a single point crossover technique okay it is a single point crossover technique which of the following offspring is not possible which is possible we are first deal with uh, which uh, offspring will be possible and rest one will be not possible so it is ordered ga this term is very important it is ordered ga okay so and it is single point crossover technique so first we deal with which are the possible and which are not possible so in this three offspring will be possible and one will be not possible uh, actually answer is b actually b is not possible but how it is not possible we are going to explain in the next slide okay this is the single crossover point and uh, how actually it works uh, option a one two three four so before this crossover point all these uh, are put here one two three four okay so this is situated as it is and after that we are we have to select the gene from the parent two okay so this is parent one and this is parent two so parent two from before crossover point one two three four one two three four we put all this here as it is 1 2 3 4 after that we are going to copy the gene from parent 2 after that 10 because uh, in this 1 2 3 4 and after that 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 this will be placed as it is this will be placed as it is after that 4 3 2 1 will not be placed because it is already available um, initially so that's why 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 will be copied from parent 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4 from parent 1. So this is a offspring and it will be okay. No issue with this. Validation 2. Now we are going to copy 10, 9, 8, 7 from this particular in option C. 10, 9. After that we are going to use parent 1 from where we have to copy the gene. So, 10, 9, 8, 7 already available at this particular point. 10, 9, 7, 8. After that, we are going to copy gene from P1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this will be as it is put here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 will be not copied because it is already available in this. So, option C, that is offspring 2 is also possible, right? And validation 3. Now, we are going to validate option D. In this, after this crossover point 4, 
फर्स्ट वी कॉपी फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी कॉपीड एयर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन राइट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी जीन फ्रॉम पेरेंट टू सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द कॉपी जीन फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड सो वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर दीज आर द जीन कॉपीड एज इट इज हेयर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड आफ्टर दैट फाइव टू टेन इट इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल सो वी विल नॉट कॉपी इट and now the rest option is available c so c will be the only offspring which is not possible so uh, in all of them option b is the the correct option which is not possible because it is started with 7 7 randomly it is selected with 7 so it is not possible either we have to take 1 2 3 4 or 10 9 8 7 or 5 6 7 8 9 10 or 6 5 but uh, randomly we can't take therefore uh, option b is the um, incorrect option and it is not possible so thank you guys so much and i hope uh, all the answer will be correct and uh, we will get 100% accuracy and next assignment will be uploaded as it will be published after within one or two days and if there is any question you, you have doubt please let me know so i can verify and uh, if it is correct it's okay other it if it, there is any discrepancy uh, we can modify and submit the assignment uh, with higher accuracy thank you so much